And Rivers, you went back to school. Mm -hmm. Are you are you at Princeton or Harvard? I couldn't. Or I can't neither. Tell you. <laughs> oh, you can't. That's I'm right. Sorry. You Berkeley? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In San Francisco, or Boston? In Berkeley. In, in, uh, in San Francisco. Or Berkeley. Yes. Um, what were you studying there? Music. Okay. Cool. So, um, was was what you're doing? Are you? How are you able to apply to what you're doing with Weezer? Um, what sort of stuff? Like, uh, are you studying composition or what sort of aspects of music? Mm, mostly music history and theory. Mm -hmm. Learning about great classical music. And I don't think it applies at all. Sort of. In passages there in the first song, it sounded sort of classical, the, t the interaction, the sort of quieter part there a little bit to my... Well, I don't yeah. think that has anything to do with, with school. Like, I, I didn't know what to expect when I first went to school and, and came back with new songs. Uh, they definitely sounded... Um, um, more matured structurally, but um, there was no um, like classicals, you know, nothing, no, there was no operatic influence, like I could tell. It was still rock to me. Mm -hmm. And why are you studying that, the, the, uh, the older forms of history of music? Mm, just for fun. I really like great music. And since I have, I don't have to get a job anytime soon. I figure I can just go to school and study whatever I want without having to worry about a career. So I want to study music. Cool. And what was Patrick up to during that? He's time? hanging out at the hotel. <laughs> he's, he's still um, hanging out. At he's got a record coming out yeah. in the spring, I think. It's called The Special Goodness. So do, do you guys take good. rock and roll seriously? Like there you are, uh, touring, and then boom, you sort of disappear and go off and do your other stuff. I think the whole rock thing is a big big joke in a lot of ways mm -hmm. but uh, I don't know if you can't take it too seriously but I mean some people do and some people may think it's the most serious thing in the world and you got to do whatever you're doing you have to take it seriously but I, I fear a lot of the times falling into the whole the traps of our forefathers of rock <laughs> you know end up looking like Robert Plant or whatever <laughs> so I don't know so you, I don't take that too seriously. You rather like, I look at Robert Plant and I go, God, you're kind of funny looking. What are you doing? You know. So uh, you want to have lives outside of the band? You, well, I, I always want to continue do music as long as I live. It might not necessarily be rock and roll music, but um, I'll never quit playing. Mm -hmm. So we can assume that since when when you're in this unit here, things are going well, and you're dis it's your decision yeah. to be there. Yeah, no, I, mean, I think things are going well. I just think that the, the rock thing, you can, uh, sometimes you feel, you get dangerously close to feeling like you're falling into that trap of sort of all the stereotypes and everything. And to me, that kind of can bum me out a bit. Mm -hmm. Just go, oh, God, I don't want to turn into Robert Plant. So then you go, no offense to Robert, but anyway. A spinal Because I love him in every, in every possible way. It's just, he just looks a little ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Rivers, do you have anything to add to <laughs> Robert Patrick. Do Do I take uh, rock seriously? Yeah. Or or the, the I guess, the career. The, the career? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I don't even look at this as a career at all. It is at the moment, just because we've been lucky, I think. But I don't think I'll ever look at it as a job. I just do what I do, and if it happens to make money or give me a livelihood, that's cool, but... That's not my motivation. Yeah, I think that goes for all of us. Well, you definitely have horseshoes, that's for sure. I think that's with everybody. You just do it, you sort of do what you do, and if it happens to be successful, it's yeah. pretty strange. It's a pretty strange thing to be successful at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we've been pretty fortunate, so, you know, I don't think we're stars per se or anything like that. We're, or it's guaranteed that we're going to keep selling records, but I do think that we're really lucky to... And maybe without that, like, search and, and pressure that, you know, some people are really pressured to get that sort of success, and uh, they really want that that amount of fame, it sort of inhibits them from, from be, getting there, and you sort of, it seems like if that's your attitude, you well, sort of, Well, there's a lot like, of people like that in to, L.A., yeah, absolutely. Stumble upon it yourself. About, uh, there's probably about 75% of the population of L.A. that's actresses and, uh, and musicians who are going there for fame. And 
probably that alone probably stops them from getting it. Just going there with that goal mm -hmm. in mind. Mm -hmm. um, I, have I think one. everyone should should pursue their dream, no matter what it is. Yeah. And uh, it could happen, you know. Just it could happen to persistence. <laughs> It happened to me. It happened to you. <laughs> We're not trying to listen to you. It's an infomercial. You know, tell anyone to you know, not And if you call this 1-800 number, <laughs> we'll tell you 10 Art easy steps. Art for fun and profit. <laughs> um, okay, last question is uh, Spike Jones helped in the um, art of uh, the artwork for the album. He did the photographs. Yeah. Yes. And uh, he did the, a lot of videos for you in the last album. And uh, why the decision for the first single not to have him um, direct? Uh, well, it's just sort of uh, River's Choice. Okay. Yeah, he, he wrote a treatment, but I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to just have a, a basic video of us playing. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't like to do that anymore. It feels like every one of his videos has to be something new and special. Mm -hmm. And we wanted something old and bland, or at least I did. He wanted something on the lamp. I wanted Spike. <laughs> He wrote a really wild idea and it just didn't feel appropriate for the song. Okay. Well, this is um, El Scorcho, another unrequited love song uh, from Weezer. They're playing tonight uh, in Toronto with Placebo at the Phoenix. And any other Canadian dates? Montreal. Uh, one in Montreal and that's it. Yeah. Tomorrow? We already did our Vancouver stint. Do you know where in, in Montreal? Um, oh my gosh, I heard. She um, just said it. Well, um, it started with an M, right? Montreal, anybody? Metro. 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 Yes. Okay. Metro, no. Dome. Metro Dome? Sounds like a place the hockey team plays at. The Metropolis. Okay, the Metropolis, Metropolis Dome. <laughs> tomorrow. Thank you for uh, everybody over here. Right on. Yeah, for yeah thanks for coming up. down. And thank you for coming down. Other people outside. Let's get a shot of these people outside. Uh, I think Wellman is already here.